So, first off, you're going to want to find your main game directory. So, go to your Steam. So, go to Grand Theft Auto. Manage. This is how I edit. Manage. Browse local files. This is for Steam, by the way. And this is your main game director. I cleared mine. So, I can show you. This is what it should look like. Just clear like this. If you have, like, graphics in, there will be a few more files. Or, if it's easier, you can go to here properties uh, which is it install yeah so go to properties installed files and go to browse and you can see here it'll come up so keep that keep that up bring up your browser put it out like PDFR, go to their homepage, go to download LS PDFR. Now it may look different for you because this will update update within the year. The build might look different. It'll like update loads of times, but it'll like still work. Put a a green download. We're gonna first do. We'll do manual. I find it way easier. Right. And with that's done. You can do the normal zip if you would like. It's just easier for me. For that to install and while we are waiting. Um go to here. No. Older. Name it mods, no capitals, just mods. Refresh. Copy x64 update x64 e. Right click, copy. Go your mods folder and paste. You never want to put anything. Let me go back here. You never want to put anything into your main game. Everything that you're going to install has to go into your mods folder or the plugins folder that we're going to make. Once that's done, open the file. It will be these here files. Um, If you select all of these, you do not need licenses. And then simply, yeah, drag this and drag it into blank space over here. Make sure nothing's selected. So just drag, hold, and drop. And then I'll let that load. Okay. Ignore this here, top one. That's just me. Copying this. See, so just don't worry about that. You can see it's by two percent, so we'll let that finish. Okay. Don't worry about this. That's done, okay. You can see you've now you should now have a read plugin hook.exe. To really make things easier, if you right click um, if you if you still have Windows 10, I think it'll be in mo more options. I'm not sure though. It'll like be like this. Then to desktop and create shortcut. That way you don't need to go into your main game directory, and when you launch it, you can paste, put it to your taskbar. So I'm gonna let so. Assuming that you've got this here done, I'm just going to stop it. If you're doing that, you need to let that finish, okay? Let that finish so that you have all of these inside this. Don't do what I did. I just have everything saved in here, so I don't need to do that. So whenever you do, whenever you get all the files installed and your mods folder has 
update x64 and x64e go to rage plug and hook so press it and then hold shift keep holding shift until it brings up a menu this this is just an agreement read through this make sure you agree to everything and then you'll see plug it plug in time height time out th th threshold something like that put this up to max that'll be 60,000 go to plugins if you would like you can load these plugins and start up so you can select so if you is saying you install this is uh, say you install a custom EUP like you'll need a menu so you can select the menu it'll say EUP menu you can select it for it to load when you launch the game but I just like to like make LSPDFR load on startup so and then I recommend going over here backup game version press backup current version and it'll so I'm just gonna press it you'll say creating backup this is so if there's a new version of GTA uh, read plug and hook is not going to support that straight away I'll show you once this is done what you can do you know so as you can see you can revert game version right now this is supported because it's on the right version but say it'll say not supported if it's not you can go to activate and then it'll activate the old game version so you can still play LSPDFR. Once you do that, just press save and launch. Uh, just if you want to, you can read this. I just ignore it. And I'll show you once it's done. So it might say hooking game instant. If it does end up saying this, just X it out. It'll say unable to launch game. Please verify your game files. This is usually caused by an antivirus. So as you can see, I use McAfee. That's just that. You might need to relaunch it a couple. Oh, you, you can close this. You might need to launch it one or two times, maybe at max four. But whenever, you, but this is just because it's the first time launching it. Just, just press it again and it'll launch. You don't have to press shift for this. That was just to save the settings. You just simply press it once and it'll go in. You can see there. This has now worked for me. We're now loading in. Another thing is when installing LSPDFR a lot of people say you need script hook v unless you're installing ELS EUP stuff like that you don't need out you don't need script hook v you see I didn't install it and the game's loading just fine you do not need it unless you're installing any type of big script which is ELS for like to manually control the lights on the vehicles Okay, right. You can see we're in. But we're not a p police officer. So. We're g we need to go to the police station. So, we're going to go there now. If you would like, you can just teleport through marking a waypoint. But, hmm. Sometimes it's just easier to drive because it might lag your game the other way. Okay, so we're at the police station. Just run up here, go inside. You can see around your map, it's now, you can see. So your default name will be just a random name and it's like off duty. You can see there's loads of 
PlayStation blimps around the map. So you still have one PlayStation, and there's 11 PlayStations around the map. Just walk inside. Just grab off some armor if you want. Come in here. You'll see a blue circle. Press E to open the locker room menu. And we are going on duty. Go on duty. Give it a moment. I know you can see this. But because you haven't made an, an, an LSP, sorry, because you haven't made an LSPDFR character yet, it's going to ask you to make one. Go ahead with that. And it should bring you to this menu. It should bring you to this. Change your gender to female. I want to keep it male. Heritage. This is like what type of like. This is like um. Your appearance stuff like that. But if you want like your actual appearance, like your hair, you can just edit all of this. Go through, see what you like. I'm just gonna go for something simple like. What is there? I'm just going to go for something simple like this. Let me find it. Do this. And you know, you can go to features for like all of that. I'll just keep it like this. And then this is your name. Mine's can be Cross Chalk. Okay. Cross Chalk. There you go. And now you can see new, sorry, use. Press enter. And just like that, you're loading in. I'll have a video of how to install EUP soon. You can see, this is you and Judy. You can go to the police locker. You can get a uniform on. And your wee glasses. Yeah. I'll just keep this for now. You can go to the garage. This is where you can get your vehicles. Your bikes, your helicopter, stuff like that. I'll just take the police buffalo. Because I think it's the nicest default vehicle. Now you're going to realise. You can't actually control the lights. It's one mode. Like this. Kind of annoying. But that's all. You need to install all of that. 